If you guys want to know how to make a lot of money with the special cargo warehouse this week in GT Online, then make sure to go ahead and watch this entire video because I'll be showing step by step as to what to do in order to maximize your overall profit and make as much money as possible this week in GT Online. But before we do get into that, I just want to say I'll be doing a modded account giveaway for GT Online for the PS5. All you guys have to go ahead and do is just make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to go ahead and leave a like on today's video as well as a comment down below as to why you guys think that you guys deserve the modded account. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Now, as you guys already know, we have double money for the CEO business this week in GT Online as well as discounts for the overall CEO building. So if you guys want to go ahead and buy one, you guys should get one right now. The Maze Bank Tower, for example, is no longer 4 million. It is 2.8 million. So this is going to be definitely a good steal if you guys still need an office building. Now you guys can upgrade it any way you want. You guys can just go ahead and add a gun locker or a safe. But the best thing you guys want to get is the accommodations. This way you guys can set your spawn point inside of the actual building. That way it's going to be a lot more efficient and quicker to go back and forth between source and cargo and making way back to the actual office building. You guys can just find a new lobby and you guys will be able to just go ahead and start up another mission that easily. Now, the first thing you guys need to go ahead and do is once you guys get your CEO office, you guys still need to get a warehouse to actually be able to source the cargo. So you guys want to head over to your Securo Surf computer and head over to Special Cargo and make your way down to the warehouse map. Now, once you guys see this map, you guys will be given the option to get a small or a medium or even a large Special Cargo warehouse. These warehouses are all good, but well, except for the small one, the large one will be holding about 111 crates while the medium holds about 42 and the small warehouse will be holding around 16 crates, I believe. So the small is definitely not the way to go. But if you guys were to get the large one, you guys should know that they are pretty expensive. One is about 3.5 mil. The cheapest, I believe, is around 1.9 million. So if you guys do not have the money for it, I would not advise buying a large warehouse. Maybe you guys can go for something like a medium warehouse that is a lot more cheaper and more cost efficient. But overall, this is what you guys should be doing first things first you guys should be going ahead and buying one of these warehouses to actually be able to source your cargo now when it comes to the medium as i already showed if you guys do have the maze bank quest like the one that i have you guys can go ahead and get this warehouse for the medium it's very close to each other and like i said you'll be able to source at least 42 crates at a time so it'll definitely be worth it and the overall warehouse is pretty cheap you guys can get one of these warehouses for a pretty low price for about i would say nine hundred and seventy one thousand dollars to about a million to 1.2 million so these are some pretty good and cost efficient prices if you guys do not have the money to buy a large warehouse now when it comes to the small warehouse as i said this is not necessarily the one thing that you guys should be spending your money on it is very cheap as shown right here you guys can be having a max of 16 crates for about four hundred thousand dollars if you end up spending that money but only 16 crates is not going to get you any profit in GTA Online like that, especially now with today's economy in GTA. So this is something that you guys should not be getting. You guys should be going for the medium or the large crates. Now, once you guys finally bought your warehouse, you guys will now be able to go ahead and source your crates. Now, you guys will always be wanting to go for the three crates. There's no reason to go for one crate or two crates. You guys want to always be going for the three crates. It costs $18,000, but trust me, at the end of the day, the profit will be worth it, especially with double money happening right now this week in GT Online. Now, sourcing missions in GT Online are very long and very annoying and get very repetitive. So you guys will probably have a burnout in about one to two hours. But a very good way and fast way to end up completing these sourcing missions is by going ahead and having a personal vehicle like a helicopter or even your oppressor to go ahead and get to each location as fast and as efficiently as possible. So what you guys can go ahead and do is get the Sparrow from the Moon Pool vehicles in your Kasaka. This will be coming in handy almost all the time when it comes to going back and forth between getting each crate at one time. And if you guys do not want to go ahead and get that, you guys can just go ahead, head over to the Elitas website. And by going here, you guys can just go ahead and buy the Super Volatiles since they are both on sale this week in GT Online. You guys can get the carbon version or you guys can get the regular version. Now, I don't think there's that much of a difference between both. I believe the carbon version is a little bit more faster, but to be honest, they're both very fast helicopters. So I would just say get the very standard one for about 1.2 million. Now, if you guys don't already, you guys want to go ahead and buy the oppressor as well. The oppressor is probably one of the best vehicles in the game for overall PVP and transportation. And it's just a very fast bike slash hovercraft that you guys can end up getting for around 6 million or even 8 million if you guys did not do the trade price mission. I believe that was for the nightclub. 
So if you guys do not have the Oppressor Mark II already, I don't know what you guys are doing. You guys need to go ahead and buy this right now to end up boosting your overall efficiency with special cargo source missions. Now, once you guys do buy at least one of those helicopters I was talking about, you guys do not have to call up Pegasus. All you guys have to simply do is go to your assistant and all of the vehicles that you guys end up buying will be right there. It will cost $200 to actually use each vehicle, but trust me, it will be worth it. So if you guys have something like the Cargo Bob or the Savage Helicopter or even that Super Velito that I was talking about, you guys can just pay a small little fee of $200 to $2,000 and you guys will have that helicopter out. So you guys can go ahead and source your cargo very fast and very efficiently. Now, once you guys do start sourcing out your very first special cargo crates, believe me when I tell you that it is going to take a long time and it's going to be very repetitive and boring. So you guys will probably have a burnout in about one hour because each crate mission, if you guys do the three crates, which is what you guys should be doing, will be taking anywhere from around seven to 14 minutes. It just overall depends on what type of thing you get. You guys can either get all three crates separate or you guys can end up getting all three crates in one big truck. And then you guys can just take that truck and go ahead and just send it back to your warehouse where you guys will be able to keep all the crates like that. Now, while taking the crates back to your warehouse, keep in mind that if you guys are in a public lobby, you guys might want to go ahead and call up Lester, for example, to keep you off the radar. So then that way, no griefers can come in and destroy your crates while you're trying to source them out. Or you guys can go ahead and put on course organization. This is also another way. That one will take about three minutes to hide you off the radar compared to Lester's off the radar option, which only takes you off for about one minute. Now, I know that most of you guys are going to get bored of doing this in about like one hour or so. So if you guys feel like you guys need to make some quick and fast money very efficiently, then go ahead and check this out. If you guys want the best monitor accounts with the most affordable prices, you guys want to use this trusted company that has over 1000 reviews called Hyper Resupply. With a 4.9 rating and personal reviews like this, you guys can be rest assured that you guys will be getting exactly what you paid for. They offer a variety of modded accounts for games like GT Online as well as Forza Horizon 5 for very cheap and affordable prices that you guys can get. Click the link in the description and go ahead and use code LOCAL down below to get 10% off of all your orders. That concludes today's sponsor, now let's get right back to today's video. Now a more efficient and faster way to source out cargo crates that racks are added was by having your assistant right here in your warehouse source them out for you. You guys want to go ahead and talk to Lupe, that's going to be the assistant that you have in the warehouse. It will cost about $7,000 or around $7,500. And once you guys do that, they will go ahead and go source out the cargo for you. Now keep in mind, this is not really very fast and efficient though because it takes around 48 minutes or one GTA day to actually go ahead and source the cargo crate for you. So you guys can be making either one to two crates at a time instead of doing it yourself. Now once you guys wanna go ahead and sell your cargo crates, all you guys have to go ahead and do is head over to your warehouse computer. And once you guys are on the computer, you guys will be given three options, the small, medium, and large option. The large option will be able to sell all of your cargo while the medium will be able to sell around half and the smallest will be able to sell one fourth of your overall cargo crates. Now keep in mind, if you guys do go for the larger option, you guys will be needed to sell with multiple vehicles instead of one. Now, before you guys do go ahead and sell your source cargo right here, you guys wanna make sure you guys are in your warehouse like this and make sure you guys walk over to your toolbox. By going over to the toolbox, you guys will be able to upgrade all of your delivery vehicles, which would be your boat, your truck, and your plane. So you guys wanna go ahead and spend some money on this if you guys really need it. Me personally, I never bought them because I never really needed them. But if you guys are in a full lobby, you guys might wanna go ahead and buy this. That way you guys don't have to worry about griefers going ahead and destroying all of your vehicles while you guys are trying to go ahead and source the cargo. Now, another thing to add is that if you guys are in a public lobby like me, you guys want to go ahead and make sure that the lobby is a pretty chill lobby and there's not that many griefers in the actual lobby. So yeah, just make sure to go around, scope the area, scope the upper part, Lane County part, and the city part. As you guys can see, my lobby is pretty chill. Everyone's just minding their business. Most of them are inside their apartments or one of their office buildings. So everyone looks pretty chill. Nobody's really doing anything. So yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and make a sell, make sure you guys are paying attention to your lobby and make sure that there's no griefers happening that are destroying anyone's product in your GT Online lobby. Now, once you guys are ready to make a source sell mission, keep in mind that if you guys have a lot of crates, you guys will be needed to sell with multiple vehicles for anywhere from two to three vehicles. So keep that in mind. So if you guys are doing a solo, then you guys need to use three vehicles, go back to back. If you guys have friends, then this will be perfect. Make sure you guys have three friends. You guys will be good to go. Now, if you guys are selling in a public lobby, make sure to go ahead and check your CEO abilities and turn on ghost organization. This will keep you under the radar for around three minutes, which will be perfect for many griefers trying to go ahead and destroy your cargo. So you guys want to make sure you guys have that turned on. 
Now, once you guys make it to your actual final destination for selling, you guys will be rewarded your money. Now, if you guys are in a public lobby, you guys will get an increase of around 25% instead of your regular pricing if you guys were to do it in an invite-only lobby, for example. So doing it in a full public lobby will definitely be the way to go to get that extra 25% and make as much money as possible. Now, some key things you guys should know is that if you guys are selling with a large warehouse and you guys sell the entire thing, which is going to be 111 crates, you guys will be making a profit of around $6.5 million. That includes the extra 25% from all public lobbies. Now, if you guys were to be selling a medium-sized warehouse, you guys will be making around $2 million, around 2.5, I believe, if you guys had that extra 25% from the public lobby and a small warehouse you guys will be making barely any money i don't even know the actual amount but it'll be a very low amount maybe eight hundred thousand dollars including the public lobby 25 percent but anyways that does it for today's video thank you guys all so much for watching if you guys do want to enter that giveaway remember to go ahead and leave a subscribe as well as to leave a comment and a like to let me know why you guys want this modded account and why you guys think that you guys deserve this modded account compared to everybody else now a little bonus if you guys did stick all the way to the end and you guys do want this modded account then here you go there's going to be a little word at the top of the screen right now this is a little bonus so if you guys did actually make it to the very end and you guys see this make sure to leave a comment down below exactly what that word is so i know that you guys actually stuck to the very end and you guys will have a higher chance of getting the modded account but that does it for now thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you soon Bye.